I just want to welcome you all on back to my hello online play disabled connect and start menu do not mind if I do sign into PlayStation Network sign me in you fool I just want to welcome you all on back to my uh, the second stretch of my journey I was gonna start this video off with a joke about nipples but uh, it needs tweaking <laughs> nailed it all right no one ever reads these things I, I don't think there's ever been one that's been read online play is subject to the journey terms of use which can be accessed with the start menu I don't want- I, I just did this! I accepted you a long time ago, I accepted you as part of my life. Alright, online play is subject to that. You know something, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the hell on with my journey. I don't have this time to be waiting around for people. God. Probably a woman. Typical. Making me wait like that. Although I am kind of hoping that I'm going to see someone just sort of spontaneously come into existence on my screen. Because, uh... That would be quite awesome. I enjoy when things like that happen to me. Now, I hope to God that that is the end of the Shadow of the Colossus style monster things that we saw back there because what I love was how I was saying, oh yeah, there's no monsters in this game, they're not gonna come to life, and then booyah! Demon from hell! But damn it, I gotta say, I'm, I love this game. I'm gonna finish it before I, uh... Oh, hello, Transcendence! I can go ahead and move. Also, I've got some good news for y'all. I, uh, I had my phone interview this morning for a place called Abtran, and even better still, I, whoa, whoa, hey, buddy. Oh, look at that, some sort of beautiful mist-like thing. That's incredible. Hang on, let's go over to the, over yonder, over nya. But um, I did uh, my phone interview this morning for the, no, <laughs> gorgeous though, for the, people at Abtran and uh, I nailed it I think I have a uh, I have the second part of my interview on th oh, no, my third part rather my third part of the interview on Thursday and all going well I will have me a new job which by the way you want me to get because more money means more uh, more games really because usually I can't really afford to buy a game as it's released hang on I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing am I meant to go oh hello I see what could potentially be my destination. And if it isn't, then hell, it's worth getting to. Huh. Yeah, but this video, this series seems to be getting largely positive feedback from you people, which I'm happy for. It's only going to be a short one. I'll actually probably get this finished now in the next 40 minutes or so. And then it's either some Jack 2 or some Bioshock, or both. I don't know. I'm pretty breezy that way. I'm, uh, I'm adaptable. Oh, we got some more um, octopi, jellyfish type things. <clears throat> I love how you are. Uh, you have essentially. Oh, hang on. I can bring you to life again. There we go. Yeah, now you're awesome. I made you significantly more awesome. Same goes for you. You can just bask in my awesomeness, in my presence of sheer awesometude. All right, let's bring some life into you. I don't think I need to do it to all of them. But, uh, damn it, I'm going to do it anyway. No, no jellyfish left behind. There we go. That's me breathing life into the world one jellyfish at a time. Oh, that only seems to be a temporary solution to their problems. Alright then, screw you. Unless, there we go. Alright, ancient Egyptian type hieroglyphic monologue. Monolith, that's the word I'm looking for. See, it all makes, hey, hey, I was trying to make sense of that. Oh, it's an elevator. That makes perfect sense. Into the mist we go. Oh, am I headed to that? Oh, wow, what is this thing? It looks like some sort of, um, carpet whale or something. I guess I'm just, I'm just gonna ride it. I'm gonna use it as my mount. Not entirely sure what this thing is trying to bring me, but... I'll get some life into you, pal. Don't you worry. There you go. Can I breathe life into you? You know something? I don't think I can. I think he's a bit of a lost cause. Maybe he flies with me, though. Oh, jeez, I don't know.
What's your secret? You're absolutely amazing and I love you and everything, but do something. Oh, hello. Maybe I need to tinker with this thing. Woo! It's a bridge! Haha! <laughs> I'm awesome, a Pictionary. Oh, I see. Sort of lowering them a bit. Oh, this is water! I think, I would imagine. It has that sort of water-like look to it. That water-like quality. And so I imagine what I need is up here somewhere. Hello! Oh, okay. So they just go ahead and appear for me. Seriously, this game is something else. You know, there's one thing that this game makes me want, it's the ability to fly. And to have a really long scarf. I would enjoy having a really long scarf. Preferably one that can make me fly. Two birds with one stone. Uh, it. I do see my destination. Look at what I did here though. Look, look at all the great things that I caused. This is just from walking into a room. If only I had that effect in real life. So, someday. Yep. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, you know what I could do? Do you know what I would really enjoy right now? A good bit of meditation. And so, without further gilding the lily, I must no more ado. Let's get some meditation on the road. Oh, booyah! I got myself a friend! Friend. You wanna come with me? I'm excited to see you too! Are, are, are you... It's, okay. it's, it's cool, it's cool, I'll wait. I'm just, I'm just grateful for the company. Uh, but I was just thinking, um... Oh, you ready? Yeah, I was just thinking... Are you ready? Let's do it, pal! Yeah! We're kind of communicating musically. Now, follow me. Oh, 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 what's Morse code for you're on YouTube right now? Yep, you're on YouTube. Now, follow me. Where the fu- Well, up yours too, buddy. I'm not too keen on you. I'm just going to leave him behind. He's, he's more of a liability to the team than anything. But what I was just thinking after that was, um... Oh. Screw that, I'm not leaving my journey be put on hold for some guy who wants to go flying around. Um, 
But yeah, this would actually make a really good movie. I like, you know, one of those interesting different movies that you just end up loving even though you didn't think you would. I, I think Journey would be a good movie. But I really, really hope to God no more of those monsters come out and kill me. I don't want to die. <laughs> Although, when I do die myself, what I want to do is I want to be buried in a, uh, a spring-loaded coffin that's full of confetti. So that uh, sometime in the future, some archaeologist is going to have an awesome day at work. Alright, we're very, very close to the mountain now. <clears throat> and we sort of exchanged sand for some sugary looking snow. Actually, I had a comment on a previous video about how the sand looks like sugar. And ever since now, that, and especially now that I'm looking at it, it looks like a delicious candy land. Mmm. Sugar. Which reminds me, I'm gonna plug someone. If you want to check out her channel, check out She Plays It. She's pretty cool. Every so often when I can, I'm gonna plug other uh, commentators that I come across that I like. B to life! Thank you. Thank you very much. It's kind of strange how the, like, the natural fauna in this game, in this world, you know, just plants and shrubs, are gigantic scarves. Some sort of fashion-oriented community. Oh, damn it! Shadow of the Colossus! Run away, scarf type thingies! Live! Oh, friggin' enemy. I don't even know what you want to call them. Assholes. That's what I call them. I like to keep things simple. Oh, he's not doing his little ski thing. And my scarf is out of juice again. I think these guys kind of get their power from, uh... From the sand, maybe. Maybe they're sand people. Tuscan sand raiders. Gonna bring you to life. No? Oh, we got some sort of storm going on. We got a storm a-brewing. That's okay. We just soldier on through. My poor sand person. He's not made for this sort of treatment. I mean, look at him. Oh, something's pulsing over in the background there. We're just going to press on. We're going to choose to ignore it. Actually, maybe I need to go to what's pulsing. Because I don't think I can physically advance any further. Oh, no, maybe I can. I just need to hide behind these. I still think I should be able to activate it in some shape or form. I think I need to time my walk, my advance between... Yeah, the wind really does intensify. And then... Once it ease off, once it blows off a little bit of steam, once it's a bit cooler, a little more collected. Hello. Be to life. Thank you. Oh, I got a full scarf. So I might need to use that to flutter on over to the next. Oh, don't think I was behind that enough. Hang on, yeah, my scarf power is just melting away here in this section. They definitely get their power from the sand. They're not meant to be in the cold. Unlike the Irish. Or the opposite. Oh no, I might have gotten too ahead of myself. The wind might get me. Oh no, I'm okay. Whew. Hang in there, Terence. You can make it. I believe in you. Primarily because I am you. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it to this next one in time. It's a bit of a trek and the wind is starting to pick up. Push it, Terence. Atta boy. Atta boy. I've never been prouder to call you my avatar. Alright, screw this. Screw nature, screw the elements. Guess I should probably just hang here just for one more gust. Just to be on the safe side. I would hate to get into the cave mouth just to be blown out again. Alright. Oh no, no, no. Oh, thank god. <laughs> it would just be cruel if it threw me all the way back to the start of the valley. I'd expect that sort of carry on from Jack too. But not from this. Hmm. Alright, I thought I could activate these. I actually do get the feeling that these are unfortunately tombstones from this guy's fallen comrades. I have no idea what happened to my... Speaking of comrades, I have no idea what happened to my other comrade who fell from the... Well, he didn't fall. He quite... Oh, I got you, pal. You're okay. Oh, the poor thing's shivering. Oh, don't tell me you're dying. Don't die. Be alive. That's it. Let me just breathe tons of life into you. Come on, stay with me. Oh, that poor thing. I feel really bad for him. 
Come on, stick with me, you're cool. Although, you know, I don't blame him for wanting to hide from the, uh, from the big mean monsters over there. Yeah, actually, you know what? Get back into your hole. Get back into your cave. I'm in no rush to come across these things myself. Alright. I played Shadow of Colossus, you bastard. Bring it on. He actually does look like one of the Colossi as well. I'm reasonably confident that if I had a sword or a tactical nuke, I should be able to do some form of damage to him. Well, I think we need to get to that temple. I'd imagine we get to the temple and then it's pretty much the mountain summit that comes next. Push it! I hope that thing doesn't come back. I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get killed. <laughs> I'm too unique to die. Nothing? Alright, never mind. There's not a doubt in my mind we got at least one more chase sequence going on though. There's a whole bunch of carpet creatures going on over there. I have a bad gut instinct that they're just they're out in the open. How did they not notice the gigantic centipede thing flying around devouring carpet scarf type things? Run you fools! Oh well, did all I could. Let's see if we can get Beethoven's symphony going on here. Hurrah! Oh yeah, that's... Uh, actually, that even looks warm. That's, <laughs> that's my sort of glow. Let me just bask in this for a moment. Are we about to head upwards? Oh, we can head upwards. Thank God. <laughs> I was a bit worried there. I really didn't want to have to go back out into the wind. This is more my style. This seems a lot... A lot less bright than it usually... Perhaps it should. Do I have to repulse it? Hurrah! No? That's all I can do? It usually has a nice healthy warm glow to it. Oh well. To me, scarf things. Woohoo! Alright, I guess back out into the fray then. I'm watch as my scarf power gently and gradually evaporates into thin air. Ah, oh, it's fading as we... As we steek. As we steek? Hell yeah, it's fading as we steek. See, the main issue here with this whole scenario is that I undoubtedly do need... Oh, wait, no. I see tendrils. Please give me some juice that I oh so sorely need. Oh. Oh, we got this. We got this. It's crazy how you actually do feel powerless here. You know, you're, you, you, you can barely use your scarf, you can barely move, you know your guy's not meant to be in this sort of weather, this sort of climate. And yeah, lo and behold, here he is, glutton for punishment in my opinion. A glutton for punishment. But he has an awesome scarf. Oh, uh, the music is telling me that, oh shit, I can see his shadow. See him? There's something moving in the, in the mist, he's up there. And there isn't the slightest doubt in my mind he's going to come gunning for me in a moment. Hey, big guy. Ah, oh, my scarf things. I'd rather him come for me than go for them, to be honest. I'm not sure if these, if it's the same one that was chasing me down in the, uh... When I was underground or not, but... All I know is that... Uh, there was a carpet that got horribly killed by him. Shit, there's another one. Oh no, down he goes. Hang on, maybe I can get him back to life. Screw you, you big bully. Oh, fuck this. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh no. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I could really do with that. Am I dead? Oh, wow, I'm still alive. Jeez. Oh, that is the last time I try and save a fallen comrade. I probably could have done with the other guy. But no, he had to turn into a complete jackass and jump off the cliff, didn't he? And here I was, excited. I was like, oh, we got a, I got a person who's going to go on this journey with me. Then I forgot one simple fact. A lot of the people who play games online are pricks, basically. <laughs> They don't actually try and play the game online, they just try to dick about for a while. 
That's a good investment of time and money there, people. I want to get to my scarf thing. I don't think he's okay. Frankly, after the attack I just had, I don't think I'm okay. Come on, you're right. Wait a minute, you're not the thing that fell. Where'd he go? Ah, I can't find him. Damn it. And I, oh. And I genuinely do want to find him too. That's the thing. Alright, so there's no map. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. I imagine this is some sort of waypoint. Where's that demon thing? Oh, he's lurking about somewhere nearby. Oh, hello. A cave. And a demon. A cave demon. My issue with this cave is it's just big enough for that badass to fit through as well. And, oh shit, there he is. The last thing I want is for that light to be shining on me. Alright, I think I got around him. Fortunately, I am small. Small doesn't seem to be worth his time, really. I really don't think he expected me to survive. I thought I was dead, I thought I was gone for. I didn't expect to survive. You'll never hear me complaining that I did, though. Ah, friendly architecture. Comfort me. That's the stuff. Oh, the comfort. I hope to God it doesn't swoop into the cave. I don't think I can take another hit. My scarf got, like, halved. There's only so much punishment a fashion accessory can take. 